In the today's video, we are going to take a good look on a specific Martingale algorithmic trading system. And the system we are going to take a look, you already see here on the screen on the left hand side, the balance curve, the equity curve of the system, quite nicely up pointing as those systems do Martingale, and on the right side, actually, the visual representation, the visual test mode of this Martingale system. Um, Martingale, quick in a nutshell, it simply means if you lose a prior trade, you simply double down on the next to recoup your prior loss. And if this doesn't work out, you have like two losses in a row, you simply double down on the next one as well. So on the first trade, for example, let's say you risk one euro on the next because of your loss in the prior trade, you now risk two euros in the next trade because you also lost the second one, you're going to risk four, then eight, 16 and so on and so on. You get the gist, right? And to simply manifest that Martingale systems are not having an edge um, in the financial, financial markets and simply really show that the edge, uh, if you want to put it like this, I wouldn't like to put it like this to be honest, but that the only strength of Martingale is yeah, how you uh, size your position uh, your positions and, and your trades in the financial markets. So the rationale behind this system simply is entering the market at a random entry point. And as soon as you exit, either it was a loss or um, a profitable trade, you simply enter the, tr uh, the financial market or in this case, EURUSD right away. And the system completely randomize if the next trade is going to be a long or a short trade. So even I don't know the sequence, um, probably there's somewhat a sequence behind the randomizer in the system since doing something really purely random is really, really hard statistically, but uh, it's really tough to say if the next one is going to be a long or a short trade. To simply show you that really, really, it doesn't really matter for Martingale what kind of system you trade and therefore it is really easy to create somewhat profitable systems uh, which are definitely not viable trading strategies, but more kind of a gambling um, casino um, approach, which is of course for many people out there quite appealing. I, I get it, but then uh, please don't take it as kind of an investment strategy and don't put it in the same pot as Forex trading or investment, since this is something totally different. And as you can see here on the right hand side in the visual mode of the strategy tester, we are or the system is literally, I would say 99% always in the market. There is certainly almost no time where you are not in the market. So that is nice. Because well, then we have a lot of trades, right? And you can see here on the left hand side, the nicely up pointing equity curve. So this was more or less the whole gist. Um, our community of Profectus AI students, they will get the source code so they can also experiment simply getting a feeling of those yeah, kind of weird systems. And now I would like to dig a little bit deeper into the statistics and um, yeah, the characteristics of this particular um, Martingale system. So let's quickly stop this one. And I already ran two bigger tests B4. Now this one run on a 100k account. So you simply see um, that we start on 100,000 USD, we made a return of 5.8 thousand USD, we were in a drawdown of only 2.5%, what is quite nice. So that means 2600 USD. And now we can take a quick look on the inputs. So Martingale simply means you should really start on the lower side. So the smallest lot size you can trade is 0.01 lot. So that is very small. So when you lose the first trade, the next trade will be 0.02 lot and so on. You, you get the idea, right? And this is the this is the, the multiplier. So this simply means you can also, of course, simply punch in a three or four. So you do not only double down, you actually fourfold or threefold on the next one, right? Here, 
very generic, maybe not the best approach. I would definitely not um, recommend this to our students to simply take a stop and take profit level hard coded in pips, but rather take it in a more variable um, manner, such in, in an ATR average true range. But in that case, it really doesn't matter. So 50 pips it is. So it simply means the risk to reward for this system is one to one. And now when we take a look on the report just a little bit more, you see we were trading the last seven, eight years. And uh, yeah, since we were always in the markets, we have a good amount of trades, 2,600. Um, well, since it is a one-to-one -one, um, risk reward trading system um, and it is profitable, you see it somewhat makes sense that um, our um, yeah, win ratio is around 50%, a little bit higher since otherwise the system would have blown up. And um, now when we take a good look on the equity curve of this whole system, actually, you see that is a very characteristic, um, yeah, equity curve you actually see out there also on other marketplaces where you can buy those Martingale systems. It is a beautiful looking um, balance equity curve and you just see sometimes these steep steep losses and these are the periods where the system is losing and losing one after another and then the system has to double down to recoup actually um, the prior losses so let's take a quick look the biggest drawdown has been around 2500 US dollar in that case and now another quick statistic is the maximum consecutive losses has been nine. So it simply means um, the system doubled down eight times in a row. So and let's assume it is either this spike or this one. So let's simply say it is this one doesn't really matter. So it doubled down nine times. And we were we see well, in that case, we were actually in a drawdown of 2000 500 USD to just make a tiny little win in the end until um, one of those positions went into our favor. The position as already prior explained in a video about Martingale is always 50-50. There's a chance of 50% that the price is going up or down. And then finally, the ninth time the system was right, the price went into the right direction, so to say. So now let's take a good look on the already prior explained um, statistics of Martingale. So I already explained in a prior video about Martingale. It is it is a system on the edge and can really take a big bite into your wallet. So you really, again, want to start on the low side, right? Because you want to have as much room as possible. So you risk only the minimum lot size, which is 0.01. That is roughly on Euro USD is equivalent to 2.5 euros when you have a stop loss of 25 pips or 50 pips in that case. It's not really that that important in that case. So let's simply say you take um, 0.01 lot and then on a trading account of 100,000 USD. One zero too many. You actually see, OK. Um, we were somewhere in this ballpark, right? Um, the accumulated um, loss, well, of course, um, is somewhere in this area um, of the prior backtest. And as you can see, how easily this system can escalate. We were so close of actually somewhat blowing the whole account. Yes, indeed, it is a theor theoretical 100,000 USD account. And there was still some room to go, right? So we could have lost some more trades in the end until the whole account would have been blown. But you can already see how easy the system can blow up, right? We were already in a loss of around 2.5 uh, US dollar. And the next one would have been 5, 10, 20, 40, 80,000 euros. And now the next trade really matters. Again, you have a chance of 50%. Either you make it, you recoup all your prior losses or you will blow up the whole account if even the broker will let you take this trade since you don't have really a lot uh, margin left in your trading account. And now actually 
the very few of us are having um, yeah gambling money of a hundred thousand USD because in the end Martingale is more gambling than investing so let's say okay you had a good month you had a good commission on your job let's say and now you had uh, you have one thousand US dollar uh, euro to play with and there you see actually that the area in or the time period in which you will blow up potentially your account is getting a little bit thinner right since um, you are not risking a percentage of your account but actually always the minimum the bare minimum to enter the financial markets or to enter the forex market so there you see you have around eight trades left when you are having a 1000 US dollar account you can enter the trade you can have a losing streak of eight and um, well you can test it yourself simply take a dice let's say um, you win when you have a one two or three and you will lose when you have a four five or six and then simply um, play this game play this game of chicken simply throw the dice and let's see how often this occur right because in that case we only ran one single back test report right one single test and since the entries are super random, it is very likely that this report will always differ a tiny little bit. Um, since when I just um, adjust the entry to the 2nd of January of 2015, the entries and exits will be completely different. Plus, the system itself is also randomized. So instead of taking um, the first trade, as a long it can take it as a short and vice versa and the third trade which is maybe a short one is now a long one and so on you get the idea right so the outcome is random so you can do the same with the dice to simply get a feeling of those martingale systems so the yeah underlying message of this video once again is be really really careful of um, yeah taking a martingale system into your um, portfolio since it is really not a viable trading strategy and it is just a matter of time until those systems will blow up and uh, you got to be really really careful since um, yeah well especially when you only have 1000 euros on your account or let's say even less let's say you want to play around you have 100 euros uh, your area of, of playing around is getting even smaller right the the margin of error is getting thinner and thinner. I hope this was insightful. Um, check out the link about the system. Check out the link for this um, Excel sheet as well. Um, looking forward, uh, getting getting an idea of your thoughts and uh, see you on the next video. Cheers. Hey, you. Yeah, you, exactly you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Every Sunday a new video from Perfectors AI about algorithmic trading and everything trading related. Check it out. Subscribe.